tú viajaras a cualquier lado, anywhere, in the world, en el mundo, ¿a dónde te gustaría ir? Where would you go? ¿A dónde te gustaría ir? Uh, cita. Oh, cita no está todavía. Stephanie. Mm, maybe I would like uh, to know Italy. Mm. Go to Italy? Uh -huh, yeah, I like your picture, your picture. And the culture is different, no? Okay, in este caso podría ser, en vez de fotos, sightseeing. Lugares para ver, sightseeing. Sightseeing. Okay, thank uh, you. Okay, what about you, Mariana? If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? ¿Dónde te gustaría ir, Mariana? Stephanie said to Italy. What do you think? No te escuchamos, Mariana. Okay, well, in my case, um, well, I like to visit Italy too. The, the people say that the pizza is really good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're really good. And the, 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 other, the other people say that the coffee is really good. But I, I watch uh, <clears throat> um, like a video that was talking about a coffee. On, mm -hmm. I don't remember where, but it's an, a place near to the India. And they say that the coffee is really, really heavy. No? Uh, the pesado, the... The well, yes, heavy, you know. Uh, so mm -hmm. in the city, the coffee was really good, and I like to visit that place, or maybe <clears throat> visit Canada, a place that is a little cold. I like to to visit a place that you can see this now. Oh, no. yeah, did you? I like it. <laughs> I like it too. Yeah. Oh, me too. Hi, teacher. Hi, Sita. Welcome to class. Um, thank you. We was, I'm sorry. Was, uh, don't worry. Tengo que retirarme de clase. You need to go. Uh, okay. Yo creo que después nos ponemos de acuerdo para retomar. Okay. okay. Sí, está bien. Me parece no, muy disculpa. bien. Disculpa. No te preocupes. Mariana, ya lograste eh, pensar en un lugar. Sigues ahí, es tu micrófono, es el internet. Puedes mandar un mensajito, por favor, porque no te escuchamos. Bueno, lo que Mariana trata de comunicarse con nosotros, vayamos por otra pregunta. Tenemos, what makes a co-worker someone would like to work with? Ok, Mariana, sí, trata de volverte a conectar. Este, what makes a co-worker someone would you like to work with? Stephanie. Co-worker es eh, compañero de trabajo. So what makes a coworker someone you like to work with? ¿Me escucha? Ya te escucho. Ay, sorry, teacher, no sé qué pasó con mi compañero. 
Don't worry. Entonces, la pregunta es, what makes a co-worker someone you like to work with? Mm. Co-worker is my partner, my partner, ¿verdad, teacher? Compañero de trabajo. Yeah. Partner yeah. es tu pareja. Ah, ok. That's my co-worker. Eh, likes to work. Eh, he is eh, eh, responsible. A responsible person. A responsible person, yeah, teacher. Okay, so you like to work with a responsible person. Okay, well, yes, if it's a responsible person, yes, I like to work with someone like, like he, like she, like them. And I think the other is, is a friendly person. Or maybe not, not really important to be friendly, but a person that you can easy going, you know, person that, well, you can say, I, we need to do this, this. Ah, okay, don't worry, the problem, I'm going to do this, you do this, and that's it. No, I think that it, uh, a person that you can communicate, no, and you, and you can share the ideas and you can work really well, no? Yes. <laughs> or maybe a practice person. I love the practice person. A person that you you didn't know how to do something, and this person say, "Ah, this is really easy. You just only do this, and that's it." I love a practice person. My my boyfriend is a really practice person. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay. Please teacher. <laughs> <sighs> Y aquí está de nuevo Mariana. Mariana, ¿me escuchas? ¿Nos escuchas? Yes, hello. Yes. Hello, welcome back. Muy bien. Vamos a seleccionar otra pregunta. Um, can you share an interesting or fun experience you had last week? Ok, uh, Mariana, ¿la puedes expresar, por favor, en presente simple? No hemos visto pasado, pero lo puedes expresar como, como si lo estuvieras, eh, como si estuviera pasando, por decirlo así, o pasar, please. Ok, oh, yes, uh, ahí yeah. uh, interesting and a good experience for uh, laborator laboratory. In the laboratory. Okay, what happened in the laboratory? Oh, uh, a practice um, about a conmutador. Con, what do you say, conmutadores? I don't recuerdo. Conmutadores. Mm -hmm. This is about. Well, uh, is electronic. Ah, okay. It's yes. um, like the switch. Como un switch. Mm -hmm. switch. Este, uh, yes, okay. yes. Yes? Okay. Okay, and what did you do with this? Um, oh, oh, oh. Uh, when, uh, well, um... Uh, my and my equip, uh, my team, my team, my, my team. Uh -huh. see the sinusoidal okay. graphics and okay. it's interesting. And it's interesting. And, and why or oh, how do you use them? Why are important to use them? Is class in high school. Okay, yes, it's a class in high school. Yes. Ah, it was a class in high school about electronic. Of potential, yes. Ah, okay, I get it. It was to get how uh, 
work, you can get uh, to energy, right? Energy work, uh, something like that. No? Yes. Ah, okay. The power. The power energy. Okay. What about you, Stephanie? Can you share an interesting your friend experience you had last week? Oh, uh, well, in my case, I traveled to, or traveled to USA for the first times. I I feel a lot of nerves, uh, but this was uh, fun to see new new place. And um, well, I new different culture, for example, or different eat. <laughs> It's, 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 yeah, it's funny. Ah, it was funny. Okay, yeah. that's good. That's a really good. Okay, a, a funny experience. Mm. Well, in this case, I don't have a really funny experience. All the last week I was sick. <laughs> okay, that's too bad. Okay, what do you usually do in your free time, Stephanie? Mm, I always um, I watch TV or or play. Uh, uh, yeah, I watch uh, uh, TikTok. <laughs> yeah, or uh, I practice in, in the in the. Well, in, in my work, I uh, um, have different uh, platforms. Platforms, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. and, and, and because it's, I I I work in, the, in my free time, yeah. Okay, get it. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's bad that you need that sometimes your free time work, but that's good that you spend. Saying watching TV, watching TikToks, etc. Okay. What about yeah. you, um, Mariana? What do you usually do in your free time? I watch um, TV movies or sleep. Um, uh -huh. Oh, yes, that's all. That's all. Okay, that's good. To watch in movies. What is your favorite movie, Stephanie? Mm, Crepusculo, teacher. <laughs> okay, what is your favorite yeah. movie, Mariana? The Sleep Beauty. Oh, okay. That's good. Both you are good movies. <laughs> My favorite movie. Uh, the Mononoke Princess is a, a movie about a Gilby. I like the movie because it talks about environment. Uh, you can see a really beautiful uh, drawings, and the the history is really really lovely. <laughs> okay. Mononoke Princess. Okay, what's your favorite TV series, Mariana? Mm, TV series. Um, well, I like suspend and criminalistic. Okay. For example. The Love and Northern. Ah, um, yeah, The Love and Northern. Yes, it's a really good series. It talks about a, 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 a different, a, well, instances, different instances about a, about a love. Well, when, for example, when someone stole something, 
when well well someone murdered a murder someone yes i i i watched some some episodes about siri and yes it's really really interesting and and the other thing that i like is that you didn't know exactly who is a person and you need to try to to solve a puzzle to get uh, who is the the responsible no the responsible or who ha who has the responsibility you know to that did the um, uh, the the crime the crime no the crime yes okay what about you uh, Sita what's your favorite TV series Teacher Sita ya no está. Ah, uh, yes, it's true. Stephanie. <laughs> okay. My favorite TV series is Game of Thrones. Okay. Game oh. of Thrones. Yeah. Okay. I didn't watch it. Well, I only watched the first. But a lot of people think that it's a really good series. Um, so, can you recommend it and why? The Game of Thrones. Ah, ya. Yeah. ¿Por qué la recomiendo, verdad? Yes. Ya. Yeah. Um, I like the, to the, la trama. Or, um, sí, la trama de la... But, but, uh, because the series is about the age of the dragons. Ya. Yeah? It is... It's, um, your history is... is, is, is it's good, teacher. I... Can you say that the plot talks about dragons? Yeah. Drama habla sobre dragones. Exactly. Okay. I like, yeah. That's the reason that you like, you love the dragons. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Okay, we have other question. If you could work, become, uh, yes, if you could become an expert in, in any field, uh, in a snap, what field would you choose and why? Si tú eh, pudieras volverte un experto en cualquier campo, yes, field de campo, en una... Um, a uh, snap is like um como eh, eh, de un chasquido o sea si tú podrías volverte volverte un experto en cualquier campo de en un chasquido eh, cuál campo te gustaría escoger igual y por qué <coughs> sorry este um, cita no sorry Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> okay, teacher. Um, I, I like, oh, I feel in each I shop um, of precision. I'm on this the other. Our teacher. I see, sure, yeah. About but, why? About what? Sorry. But because I uh, discovered new new things, no, um, new things. How can I say to cure new diseases? Ah, okay. For example, uh, like a uh, like a clinic procedure. Ah, yeah. To cure diseases, yeah. To get to to, to get um well, to get a cure, no, a cura to something. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay, I get it. Well, yes, I like to do something similar like this mm -hmm. to injure any person, to get medication, but that's a really, really hard, a really, really hard eh, way to take you know, in a really really long way to take it 
to do it. Okay. What about you, Mariana? If you could become an expert in any field in a snap, what field would you choose and why? Mathematics. Mathematics. Why? Uh, it's interesting and um, more things. A lot of, well, this is true. A lot of things need mathematics. For example, yes. uh, uh, something that I, by me, is really, really interesting. Do you know the? Um, lo voy a decir en, en español porque en inglés, pues, definitivamente no, 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 no van a saber. Pero los arrecifes de coral, ¿no? Uh -huh. uh, you know, estos. Um, eh, reproducen y tarda mucho tiempo en que vuelvan a crecer. Pero tiene que ver las matemáticas con ello porque eh, aún hay un programa matemático que to tomó muchos años, mucho tiempo, donde calculan cómo las ondas eh, y las olas ¿no? de, del agua del mar, los cambios de temperatura hacen que las arrecifes de coral encuentren el lugar indicado y realmente al final metiendo todos los datos matemáticos, encontraron que los arrecifes de coral de todo el mundo están conectados entre sí, que no solamente es un solo arrecife, sino que van intercambiando, eh, hacen un intercambio genético por largos periodos de años entre, entre todos los arrecifes, y todo eso fue con un programa matemático. Entonces, para mí las matemáticas son muy importantes también. Sí, um, sí, bueno, es que según tengo entendido, como que las matemáticas tienen que ver mucho o se adaptan a la naturaleza, entonces permite que justo veas como esos lapsos de tiempo y pues eh, si haces los cálculos matemáticos y la probabilidad es más posible que logres los objetivos porque igual pues ahí entra como más la programación pero pues la programación es matemáticas así es sí es es true ok vamos a escoger otra pregunta Ok, ahora tenemos, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Si tú pudieras viajar. Ok, esta ya la hicimos, esta ya la vimos. No me acordé, no, otra. Es muy parecida exacto a la que ya vimos. Ajá. What is some special talent you have? Okay, what is some special talent you have, Mariana? Do you have a special talent? I don't know. I mm. I um, do. Manualidades, manualidades, no. How do you say craft? Uh -huh. I do crafts. Okay, crafts. Like um, purses and wallets and earrings and rings and all of these things. Mm -hmm. Wallets, earrings, necklace, paper, and ecologist. Yes. Yes. Okay, so you have you, you sit, see, haces pulseras, anillos, aretes, collares, or wallets, carteras. 
Oh, no, um, origami. Ah, origami. Yes, I, I like the origami. Okay, I, I, some, I like to, but I get really, really frustrated because I'm not really good at origami. I'm not really good at origami. I tried to to did um, a frog uh, to origami, and I never get, and then I never get the frog. This frog that uh, I saw a video that you can do the frog, and this frog can jump. You only, uh, well, it's not touch. It's like, um, well, smash no because it's well to, to crush to squash a little. No, the the frog mm -hmm. and frog a uh, jump. Oh but yes, I have, and I never get, I never get to do it. I'm really really bad to origami. I'm <laughs> really bad to it. Okay, Stephanie, what mm -hmm. is some special talent you have? <laughs> In my case, teacher, I think haven't <laughs> uh, some special talent. But, but I like a calcul calculation environment or environment calculation in my work. I think I do it, it well. Lo hago bien. Entonces, como eh, lo que me reconocen mucho en mi trabajo. Okay. And you do it uh, all in, in your mind or you usually use up that specific program? Uh, repeat, please, teacher. Si lo haces en tu mente. Yeah, no? in, my, oh. uh, yeah in, in software. Yeah. Entonces, in software. Yeah, and okay. yeah, and my work and my worries is very important. Mm -hmm. you, you, your calculations. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The calculus. Yes, the workout. Yes, it's true. Well, yes, it is a, it's really good. I mean, I'm not really, really good. I know how to do some of them. But <laughs> no, it's something that I'm not really good. I can understand. I can get to know what I need to do. But by me, sometimes it's frustrating because I don't get uh, the first time. I need to I need to first to try to get what I need to do, how I need to do, and I need to continue try to find the specific prom program that I need. How can I resolve? So and my guess I take my time to do it to, to do the calculus, the work out. Okay. okay. Okay, other question. What will be your ideal romantic day week? Okay, Stephanie, what will be your ideal romantic date? Both. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ah, uh, no, uh, example, a temple is a uh, diner on the beach, for example. A dinner on the beach. A dinner oh, on the beach, the yeah. Romantic, with candles. No? Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> well, the flowers. <laughs> ah, yes, it's true. And, 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 and the other point is that you're on the beach with candles, but in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, in the evening, no, that is a little uh, dark. It's more dark in the evening than the afternoon. Mm, yes, it's true. Or maybe in the night. Yeah, in the and night. The night will be a little scared. Exactly. Well, it depends. Okay, yes, it's true. What about you, Mariana? What will be your ideal romantic date? Um... Um, picnic um, and movies. I don't know. <laughs> a picnic and movies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
picnic in the movies. Or dif different experience pica como no when mm, how did you say patinar? Ski. Oh ski or games different different games. No no. Okay, so do you like to do a lot of different things? Go to ski, watch a movie, and have a a, a picnic. O sea, go go to go to ski. Watch me, or maybe you can watch a movie and have the picnic at the final to go to ski. No. Yes, or I'll think. Uh, yes, yes, todas las cosas, yes, go, go, yes. go first to ski, when you finish to ski, when you get tired, you go to uh, get a picnic, maybe on these uh, parks, uh, yes. on a park, and in and, and a park you can see a movie, when sometimes uh, you, the, um, in, in a park uh, make an event that you can see a movie uh, on outdoor, no, puedes ver una película afuera en el parque. No, yes. To finish it. Okay, that's good. That sounds really a romantic date. Okay, my idea romantic date. Mm -hmm. I like to go to camping. To to go to camping. Eh, to sightseeing around, no hiking around, have a, a, a great picnic or, or a, a dinner on, on the candles. Uh, or maybe uh, um, este, to see the fireworks at the final. Maybe go to, um, <clears throat> go to um, amusement, uh, amusement park. Um, Parque de Diversiones en, en City Candles. Like this typical eh, episode is to Korean K dramas or Japanese eh, cartoons. That's that looks too, too, too good. But to go to the Muslim park and at the final to to have a lot of fun see the, the fireworks. That sounds really cute. Really romantic. Very cute. <laughs> yes. Mm -mm -mm. In time exercise to be yesterday. No, it is not. What will be? No, this is the same. <clears throat> okay, what will be your perfect vacation destination, uh, Mariana? ¿Cuál um, sería tu perf tu el destino perfecto para vacacionar y por qué? Um, maybe. Uh, the Grutz of Tolantongo. Why? Cascade. Cascadas, cascades. Este. Cascadas. No, cascada es este. Ah, yo lo tengo, yo lo tengo. Es una palabra compuesta. Este. Waterfall. Waterfall. And is. Really beautiful day. It's a really, really beautiful place. Okay. Yes. Yes. It, it, that sounds a really a good destination. What about you, Stephanie? What will be your perfect vacation destination and why? Uh, I would like to now uh, Hawaii. 
Hawaii. Uh, of course, you beaches. Beach. Right, beaches. Yeah. I I prefer to go to Tulum. Tulum. I think that Tulum is less uh, popular. Yeah. That Tulum in Hawaii. No. Yeah. Tulum. Yes, it's a really a really good place. Oh, uh, uh, by me, a place that I really need to visit is Holbox, a island Holbox that is near to to Merida, no, to Yucatan. Holbox is in Quintana Roo, right? Yeah. I know that Holbox is a really place that you can go. You can go to see the well, uh, to sightseeing, no, to to para ver, no. El paisaje. You can go to well, you have a, 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 a lot of uh, meals um have a, a really beautiful beaches and what other things that you can do. Well, I know that you can do a lot of things. Uh, and the, the, the one of the popular things that the person can go is that you can see like light light luces on the on the sea in Holbox teacher it's in Holbox oh yeah yes it's, this is because the the phytoplankton i think uh -huh. or, yeah. or, or was a bacteria in the night right? uh -huh, during the night uh, yeah. you, uh, the the bacteria so the phytoplankton i don't remember mm. well um change uh, electricity for say that uh, when the move when they move no? this is a, like a reaction and you can see lights on the night on whole box yeah. it's a really really popular by this creo que lo llaman um, bioluminiscencia bioluminiscencia whole box near to Quintana Roo y Yucatán. I think it's in the middle. Creo que la isla está justo en medio de entre el límite de Yucatán y Mérida. Oh, de yeah. Yucatán yeah. y Quintana Roo. Mm -hmm. Creo. Más o menos. Ok, este, Mariana, una pregunta más. Vale, ya habremos completado tu hora. Y ya la lunes continuamos normal, ¿vale? Yes. Entonces, una pregunta más y ya si quieres te puedes desconectar y el lunes continuamos, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a ver. Okay. What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Best piece of advice. Ok. Um, Piece es pieza, yes, esto sí queda claro, yes, y advice yes. es, um, no es aviso, es más como un consejo, yes, entonces tenemos la palabra, la pregunta, what's, no, what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given, ok, ever been given, es, ha, you have ever been given que a, a, alguna vez has dado entonces esta pregunta nos nos dice más como o nos pregunta más uh, um, ¿cómo se dice? ¿cuál ha sido el, me, el mejor consejo que eh, que tú has dado que este cómo podría ser otra 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 traducción más acertada a esta pregunta cuál es el mes el mejor consejo que te han dado cuál es el, me el mejor consejo que te han dado a ti mm. Uh, I don't know. Um, maybe. Uh 
no sé cómo decirlo en inglés, uh -huh. pero que no te tomes nada personal. Don't take the, all of the things uh, uh, personal. Don't take the, the, the things personal. Okay. Yes, it's true. It's a really good advice. Yes, because sometimes it's important to get, but to know that uh, the things happen. No, and the things happen, and we don't know why. But uh, if you don't take the things really, really personal by yourself, you can feel really good. No, because you use you when you you take the things by you by your own, it's really hard, and you get um, really bad about it. Yes, it's true. Okay, it's a really good good advice. Okay, what about you, Stephanie? Uh, dicho yo igual eh, tengo hoy como problemas con la traducción pero es como que I don't huge eh, to people before de conocerlas <risa> antes de o sea no juzgar a las personas antes de conocerlas no no abraces a las personas antes de conocerlas no no juzgarlas huge ah yes don't huge yes don't huge people before to get to know to get to know. Yes, yes, it's yeah. true. It's, yes, it's, creo que en, en inglés es algo relacionado a la frase de no juzgues a un libro por su portada, pero en este momento no me acuerdo bien de, <laughs> de la frase. Pero yeah. Yes, it's true. Uh, it's, it's important to, to know that, uh, well, that, that you can see something, a uh, odor of the people, but you don't know really, really what's happening in, in their minds. So yes, it's true. It's something important that you need to, to know. Okay, girls. Vamos a terminar la clase por el día de hoy. Eh, bueno, para Mariana. <laughs> Vamos a terminar la conversación, la clase de conversación por el día de hoy. Y espero que en algún momento igual podamos tener otra, pues otro tiempo para... Conver seguir conversando. Vale, yeah. estuvo muy, muy interesante lo que compartieron cada uno. Eh, lo importante aquí es que hay que reforzar la conversación, hay que prestar también lo que dice el compañero para mínimo tratar de captar la idea general, ¿vale? De lo que está diciendo cada uno. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿qué tal sintieron la clase de hoy, chicas? Mariana. Uh, really good. I like you like yes. okay what about you stephanie yeah teacher uh, similar mariana uh, i like to conversation with mariana nice to meet you mariana nice to meet you too okay well entonces este si quieres te puedes desconectar mariana continuo contigo el lunes y continuamos stephanie y yo con nuestra clase normal yes thank you and goodbye yeah. Yeah, goodbye. Bye. Teacher, me da dos minutitos, voy y vengo al baño rapidísimo. Ok, claro. Okay.
Listo, teacher. Listo. Ok. Vale, entonces tenemos... Eh, nos toca ver ahora present continuous for future. Be going to... Ok. Ya vimos el be going to y más o menos vimos el presente continuo. Aquí tenemos una como pequeña comparación. Dice, you can use the present continuous or be going to to talk about plants, both. Be going to and present continuous, plants. Okay, the present continuous is often used for plants with a specific times or places. For example, what are you doing for New Year's Eve? Times, New Year's Eve. Oh, what are you going to do for New Year's Eve? Okay, so different present continuous often used for plants with a specific times or places. And you can also use be going to for predictions. Also, solo be going to for predictions. Okay, vamos a ver uh, de nuevo la presentación. Específicamente ahí las diferencias de presente continuo y el going to. Ok. Teníamos aquí estas dos, ¿no? Creamos que ambos los uso para planes, ¿no? Por ejemplo, we are getting married next month, ¿no? Un tiempo específico o un lugar específico, present and continuous. And I'm going to learn French next semester. Ok, it's ok. The other, other use is present continuous para social arrangements and appointments. Siempre que hablemos sobre eh, reuniones sociales o citas con el doctor, present continuous. Solo voy a utilizar be going to para hablar sobre intentions and predictions based on experience. Solamente para intenciones y predicciones basadas en evidencia. Quedamos también... Viendo este, este cuadro, si utilizamos presente continuo, ¿no? Cuando eh, no hemos decidido aún, ¿no? Cuando no hemos decidido aún, ¿no? Pero lo ideal es utilizar el be going to para la intención, ¿vale? Entonces, <coughs> vamos a ver ahora específicamente el presente continuo. Ya utilizamos el be going to, ya sabemos cómo se usa, ya sabemos cuándo lo usamos, eh, ya sabemos cómo va la estructura. Vamos a ver ahora el going to, el, el presente continuo para futuro. Ok. Entonces tenemos aquí, what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? Present continuous by future tense. Okay, so they are playing tennis now. He's playing tennis tomorrow. Okay, we have here, now for example, the schedule, Monday. We have a time. We have the activity, the day. So he say, okay, I am playing tennis tomorrow. Okay, in this case, this is a date. No, For, similar like a date, similar like a uh, appointment, a social arrangement, maybe with someone. That's the reason we use pressing continuous. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is, we use Barbie plus ENG pressing continuous for something happening now. Eso ya lo sabemos. Okay. For future, we use, it's, it's really common to use tomorrow, next week, these expressions to indicate that we are talking about in future. Okay, para, para saber, identificar que estamos hablando en futuro, es como utilizar tomorrow, next week, yes, next month, on two days, etc. Okay. Entonces, una, una, una diferencia para indicar o, o ver si estamos hablando del presente continuo que está pasando ahora es porque utilizamos el now, ¿no? O no ve, se ve el now, pero no viene aquí el tomorrow, el next week. 
Entonces, si viene tomorrow, next week, lo estamos utilizando en futuro. Entonces, es una diferencia de saber si estamos hablando que se, se está, está pasando justo ahora o va a pasar, ¿vale? Entonces, presente continuo normal lleva el now o se sabe que está pasando, está pasando al momento del habla. Si estamos hablando de presente continuo para futuro, tiene que llevar tomorrow, tiene que llevar next week para saber que estamos utilizando el presente continuo como futuro. Ok. Luego dice, I'm doing something tomorrow. Ok. I have arranged arrange to do it. I have a plan to do it. Ok. For example, Alice is going to the dentist on Friday. Okay, this is an appointment. She has an appointment. Appointment to see the dentist. So it's the reason that we use present continuous, no be going to. We are having a party next weekend. Are you meeting Bill this evening? What are you doing tomorrow evening? I'm not going out tonight. I'm staying at home. Okay. So, siempre utilizamos el presente continuo para principalmente arrange, arrangements, appointments, date, okay, with the doctor, something that I planned to do it. I have to plan to do it. Okay. You can also say, I'm going to do something. Si se puede decir, yes, it's true. No, entonces, una de dos. Utilizo el going to, no, be going to, para hablar sobre lo que voy a hacer, ¿no? O utilizo el presente continuo. Lo ideal es utilizar presente continuo, ¿vale? Para citas, ¿vale? Reuniones sociales, citas con el doctor, etcétera. Planes, principalmente planes. Okay. Don't use the present simple, I stay, do you go, etc. For plans and arrangements. No es correcto utilizar el presente simple. Ya sabemos que queremos decir, ah, este, voy al doctor. Pero más bien es voy a, voy a, a ir al doctor. Lo, lo ideal es utilizar presente continuo. ¿Vale? Por ejemplo, I am staying at home this evening, not stay. Yo estaré en casa esta tarde. No, yo estoy en casa. Es incorrecto. Are you going out tonight? Sal, saldrás esta noche más no. Do you go out tonight? Es incorrecto. And isn't coming to the party next week. No, it doesn't come next week. Okay, but we use present simple for timetables, programs, trains, buses, etc. Okay. <clears throat> Se utiliza el presente continuo, ¿vale? Para planes, citas, ¿vale? Pero para hablar sobre horarios programados es utilizar el presente simple, ¿no? Por ejemplo, el tren llega a las 7.30. A lo mejor no ha llegado. No sabemos que va a llegar. Pero lo ideal, como ya es un tiempo programado, principalmente de autobuses, trenes, aviones, etc., se tiene que utilizar presente simple. ¿Vale? Timetables o programas, pues sería como... Eh, Cosas programadas, ¿no? Este, por ejemplo, what time will finish, ¿no? ¿A qué hora termina el, la película? Yes. Y no utilizamos presente continuo, utilizamos presente simple. ¿Vale? ¿Queda claro? Más o menos. Yes, teacher. Creo que sí lo hemos visto. O sea, digo, a lo mejor no como tal aplicando el tumor o el now, pero sí... Se me está haciendo fácil, por así decirlo. Ok. Justamente lo estamos viendo porque acabamos de ver el, el be going to para futuro. Uh -huh. yes. Y nos tocaba ir ahorita presente continuo para futuro. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Entonces, 
present, presente continuo eh, usually for people. Okay, I'm going to a concert tomorrow. What time are you leaving? Present simple timetables, programs, trains, buses. Now the concert starts at 7:30. What time does your train leave? Entonces diferencias, ¿no? Para hablar de eh, puede ser puede ser que presente continuo se va relacionado más a la gente, el plan, ¿no? La cita. Y presente simple va más relacionado a programar, ¿no? A horas programadas, ¿no? Cuadros eh, de horarios, ¿vale? Eh, horarios de autobuses, de trenes, etcétera. Presente simple. Vamos a ver otra explicación más. Vamos a ver el, este libro. Dice... I am seeing him tomorrow. Present continuous tense as a future. Okay, we have some examples. We are meeting at 10 o'clock tonight. My own is coming to stay for the weekend. I am leaving at 9 o'clock on Friday morning. Are you staying here tonight? Alan isn't coming with us tomorrow. Okay, we use present continuous to talk about arrangements in the future. The things you write in a diary often with verbs like go, come, see, meet, stay, have, and leave. We use the present continuous with future time expressions. For example, tomorrow, at weekend, next week, on Friday, next year. Occasionally, there is no time expressions. This is because the future time is clearly understood. Okay. Entonces, vamos bien, más o menos. Yes, teacher. Good. Ok. Vamos a hacer primero este ejercicio. Dice, practice. Are the following sentences present or future? Write present or future after each one. For example, where is Jack? Is he working? Ok. It is easy. This is present. The present continues. Are you going out tonight? This is my future. Entonces hacemos lo mismo. Leemos las oraciones, las preguntas y tratamos de identificar si utiliz estamos utilizando el presente continuo para hablar sobre presente o para hablar sobre futuro. ¿Ok? Entonces tómate yeah. tu tiempo para leerlas cada una e identificar si estamos hablando o para qué lo estamos utilizando. ¿Y es? Más bien, presente yeah. o futuro. Eh, hasta la 10, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 10 hasta el número 10. Thank you. 
Please, Dr. Chair. Okay, number three. Dr. Three is rolling bird pass. This is present. present. Oh, okay, this is present. Number four. I'm seeing Trisha on Wednesday. Teacher. Number five. Anna's starting school on Monday. Teacher. I am waiting for a call at the moment. Present. He's making some chairs for the garden. Present. We are getting a new car next week. Week. Uh, future. Future. And my parents are coming to stay with me this weekend. Uh, future. And the last, uh, what language is she learning at school? She is learning French and Russian. Present. Present. Entonces, yeah. es fácil de reconocer cuándo yeah. utilizamos presente continuo para presente y cuándo lo utilizamos para futuro. Yes. De hecho, las palabras como at the moment o así es como el, el presente, lo que están haciendo en el momento. Y ya Ajá. cuando dice que la siguiente semana o el próximo lunes o así. Es o la, esta noche. Exacto. Futuro. Ok. Fácil. Uh, uh, uh. Este es solo colocar el verbo en presente continuo. Ok. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the same. Ok, dice, look at the pictures. What are these people doing next Friday? Ok, for example, number one. You look at the picture. You look that he has a book. Maybe it's the schedule, and he's ha he has Andrew. Uh, Friday, tennis. Okay, Andrew is playing tennis on Friday. So you continue with number two to number five. Okay, teacher.
Leave to the chair. Richard. Richard going to cinema. Richard, sorry. Number two, Richard. Sorry, teacher. Este, Richard going to the cinema. Okay, falta algo. On Friday, sorry. Well, no. Además de Friday, falta algo. Ah, sorry, Richard is going to on Friday to the cinema. Okay. Richard is going to Richard is going to the cinema. And that's it. Oh, ajá, exacto, sin decir el día, ¿verdad? Yes, es que le faltaba el is. No más escuché. Ah, Richard, is going to, okay, Richard yeah. is going to the cinema or Richard is going to go to the cinema. Okay, number three. Three, Barbara is meeting Dave on Friday. Is meeting Dave. Okay. At 9.30, no? Yeah. <clears throat> number four. Yes, uh, Denise is going to... Este, on Friday, lunch weekend. He's going to Friday, he's going to lunch. Okay, well, yes, it's okay. Estás este, colocando bien algunas cosas. Principalmente estás utilizando el be going to. Ajá. Pero lo, lo ideal era utilizar el presente continuo. ¿Vale? El presente continuo. Por ejemplo, la número tres. Vale, el verbo es meet. Ajá, le Barbara is meeting. Ajá. Barbara is meeting Dave at 9.30. Yes. Barbara is meeting Dave at 9.30. No. Yes, no. así la tengo. Okay. Number four. Entonces ahí sería Denise. Eh, es que ahí... Es como dirá, ¿no? O sea, es going to. Ok. En este caso, es de, se habla de lunch. Ajá. ¿no? Entonces, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué utilizas antes de lunch? ¿Qué verbo va antes de lunch? Eating. Eating lunch. Ok, más bien taking, ¿no? Taking, uh -huh. taking lunch. Denise is taking lunch with Ken. Ok, and number five. Eh, Tom and Sue. Uh -huh. Are going to party on Friday. Mm -hmm. Are going to a party. Ahí sí está bien, ¿no? Are going to. Yes. Yes, aquí sí. Yes. Okay. okay. So we continue with number 26.2. We need to write questions using the, uh, using the words that you have in brackets. For example, number one. Do you go out tonight? Okay, are you going out tonight? So you continue with number two to number five. Okay.
Please, the teacher. List of. Okay, so what's the answer by number two? Are you working to next week? Are you working next week? Are you working next week? Okay, number three. What do you doing tomorrow evening? Doing. What are you doing tomorrow evening? Number yeah. four. What time are leaving your friends? What time are your friends? What time are your friends arriving? Ah, okay. What time are your friends arriving? Remember, no. Como es pregunta. No, are your friends es el sujeto. Entonces, what time? Verbo to be. Sujeto. Verbo mm -hmm. to be. Arriving. Okay, number five. When is going on holiday? Okay, again, please. When? Please. Okay, ¿qué falta? When is uh -huh. Liz going on holiday? Okay, when is Liz going on holiday? Okay, easy. Thanks. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> okay. Write sentences about yourself. What are you doing in the next few days? For example, I'm staying at home tonight. I'm going to see the theater on Monday, okay? In my case, for him, for example, well, I'm going to stay at home tonight and tomorrow and all days, okay? Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go out with, with a friend on Monday. In this case, uh, well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to see, or oh, I'm seeing a friend on Monday. Entonces escribe al menos seis oraciones donde expreses what are you doing in the next few days. Present continues by future, okay? Yeah,
Listo, teacher. Listo. Okay. So, what are you doing in the next few days? I'm going to cinema this night. Oh, you're going to go? You're going to the cinema? Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. The mojados. <laughs> <laughs> um, other, I'm studying English tomorrow. Okay, this is true. I put in class in the afternoon. Okay. I'm working the Monday. I'm watching TV series tomorrow. Okay, this is true. Okay, yeah. easy. Yeah. So now. Put the parts in the present continuous or present simple. For example, are you going out to evening? No, I'm too tired. We're going to concert this evening. It starts at 7.30. So the idea is complete the blanks with present continuous or present simple. Okay.
please, the teacher. Please do. Okay. So, when says we're by number two, do you know about Sally? Do you know about Sally number three? She is getting the next one. Mm -hmm. She is getting married next month. Number four. Yeah. For a my parents, my parents are going to on holiday next week. Are going um I are going on no you have to are going sorry, on, on holiday next week, okay? Oh that's nice. Yes. Where are they going? Where are they going? Okay, yes. Oh that's nice. Where are they going? A donde, a donde van? Yeah. Okay, number five. Mm -hmm. Sylvia is doing yeah. an English course at the moment. The first is finishing, right? Okay, the course finish. Present? Yes. Por qué? O sea, porque al principio está en el momento. Ajá. Pero si dice el curso, ter... bueno, estará ter... terminando, no, es que el viernes es en, en como en future ¿no, teacher ok estará terminando o termina tú qué imaginas por qué termina el viernes el curso termina el viernes o estará terminando pues sí no no es como que esa parte donde me confundo un poco de ok porque las sí, dos está pueden terminando ser el curso como... No, pero ya está, está, está estimulado, ya tiene, está en una, en un calendario, ya, ya ah, asociado, sí. ya, ¿no? Que eh, como tal termina, ¿no? El viernes, ¿vale? Por lo tanto es que se utiliza presente simple. Quedamos que cuando hablamos de algo como eh, que ya está eh, de un tiempo principalmente, como las eh, horarios de tren, ¿no? en este caso, el horario del curso, ¿no? Entonces, como es un curso, es un objeto, ¿no? Como lo vimos anterior en el cuadro, principalmente para objetos, se utiliza presente simple. ¿Sí? Yeah. Okay. Entonces, es por ello que aquí termina, ¿no? Presente simple. Entonces, el curso, como diría, la, la oración. The course finish on Friday. Ahí sí, igual sería sin el is, ¿verdad? No, no, yo, no, va en presente simple. ¿Cómo, cómo, ¿Cómo escribimos en presente simple? The cure is finished. Presente simple. Sorry, the cure is finished. Continúa. Ah, the cure finish on Friday, así, tal cual, ¿no? Ok, ahora, finish, está bien, finish. el verbo, pero es el curso. It's, it's, it's on finishes? It, it finishes. Uh -huh. It finishes yeah. on Friday. Number nice. six. This, um, there is a football match tomorrow, but I don't go. But I don't go. Más bien sería, no voy a ir. No. No voy a ir. I'm not going. Y ya, ya, ya sabemos que es tomorrow. The match is tomorrow. Yes, but I'm not going. I'm, I'm not going. Yes. Going, okay. Entonces, okay. Pero tú, o sea, no sería don, ¿verdad? I'm no. not going. Uh -huh. No, sería presente continuo. I'm not okay. going. Number seven. Uh, I am going out with some friends tonight. Why don't you come? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Where are meet at John's house at eight o'clock? Where 
where are we are meet o como? Sorry. We are meet. Meet o meeting. Nosotros tenemos reunión. A meeting, sorry. Uh -huh, meeting. Okay. We are meeting at John's house at the airport. Yes, it's true. Ambas van en presente continuo. Number eight. Okay. Uh, how are. Sorry. How you getting home after the party tomorrow? By how taxi? are you getting? Or how are you getting? How are you getting? How okay. are you you getting sorry How are you getting home after the party tomorrow by taxi yeah uh no i can go by bus bus the last bus is leaving at midnight midnight again remember <clears throat> time schedules no schedules no for example bosses a uh, trains flies etc present simple so the boss leaves the boss leaves okay leaves. I see the last yeah. leaves present simple the boss leaves and leaves con ese al final teacher verdad ah leaves mm -hmm. remember present continue aquí como lo vemos personas Present simple, timetables, programs, in este caso, objects, boxes, uh -huh. trains. Yes? Yeah, okay. Okay, so the last bus sleeps at midnight, number nine. Do you want to go to the cinema tonight? Yes, what time the field begins? Okay, sí, be, the film begin, but uh -huh. falta algo. Está bien presente simple, pero falta algo, porque es pregunta. What time? Is the film? No, present simple, yeah. present simple. What time the film is begin, no? No, y ese es para presente continuo. Y el verbo es begin. What time the films? No, what time does? Ah, sí, cierto. What, what time, time does the, the films? Is, you know, the film yeah. begins. What, what time, time does the film begin? Okay, and the last number 10. What are you doing next Monday afternoon? Okay. I I am working. Mm -hmm. I'm working. Okay. <coughs> este, este ya lo hicimos la clase pasada. Pasemos a este libro. Uh, pressing continues. Quedamos que este también pressing continues. Yes. I want another person continues. A person is simple. This is be going to by future. Mm -hmm. Yes, now this is person continue person continues and be going to. Complete the conversation is in use the first in person continuous and not any other words you need. Okay, this is something similar but this is only by present continuous and present simple okay so the idea is complete the next sentences using present simple or present continuous okay this is a conversation yes yeah. okay. yes 
So, give me a second. Oh. Yes, it's really, really small. So, We are going to do it at here. Vamos a completarlo hasta aquí. English together. Cuando hayas terminado, me avisas para poner lo que falta. ¿Vale? Oh. Complete the conversation with present simple or present continuous.
Listo, teacher, le puede dar por abajo, por favor. Thank you. Listo, teacher. Teacher. Listo. Thank you. Entonces, tenemos el primero. Uh, where do you come from? Brazil. What about you? Where do you come from? I'm in London for one month. Yes, me too. What do you like it here in London? Sorry, again? What do you like it here in London? Mm, okay, podría ser what do you like? Si eh, llevara el watch. Yes. Pero no lo lleva. Oh, yeah. Entonces, yeah. are you liking here in London? Mm -hmm. This is, uh, yes, this sí es el correcto. Yes. Entonces, podría ser, are you liking? Pero es correcto decir, te está gustando. Are you liking? No, pero yo digo, are you like it here in London? Ok. Are you like? ¿Es correcto? Uh, 
lleva are, segunda. No. Is you like is? Lleva el verbo to be al inicio. I don't. ¿Cuál es mi auxiliar a la presente simple? Do. Do. Entonces, do you like it here in London? Do you do. like it here in London? Mm -hmm. Hey. Déjeme la nota. Like. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's very exciting, but sometimes the people are not. A ver, las personas, no. The people bueno, sí, are not very friendly. Uh -huh. no the people are not or aren't very friendly. Uh -huh. Y luego, you say, well, do you stay with English people? Do you stay with English people? Estás, más bien, está, es, estás quedándote. Entonces sería, are you staying with English people? Ajá, de hecho sí le puse, are you staying with English mm -hmm. people? Ah, are okay. you staying with English people? Ok. Yeah. Ahí porque sí sería, are, teacher. Porque le pregunta, you. ¿te estás quedando? Yes. Entonces... El, el verbo no es stay, es staying, presente continuo. Are you staying? Y la anterior era presente simple. Oh, do you yeah. like? Would you like? Uh -huh. Are you staying? Ok. Ok, ya, ya. Y ya le contesta, yes, I, I'm stay with an English family. Uh -huh. I'm staying. Uh -huh. Sí, igual sería con ING, ¿no? Uh -huh. I am staying, uh -huh. but... With an English family. But I... Uh, bueno, ahí le puse... But I don't see them very often. Uh -huh. Me estoy quedando con una, con una familia inglesa, pero no los veo, exacto. Pero son simple, but I don't uh -huh. see them very often. They... They are always busy. Uh -huh. Luego, I'm staying in uh -huh. a student hostel. Uh -huh. That are much better. Mucho mm mejor. -hmm. That. 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 Oh, that is. That is much better. No. That is much better. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There are there are many different nationalities and we all speak English together. We all speak speak porque es we no speaks. Speak. Ah, sí. el final. Um, oh, that's good. And are you studying together in the hostel in this? In the evenings. Are you studying? Y estás estudiando junto. Está, estás estudiando junto en el hostel in the evenings. Mm, ok, no. Estudias. Estudias junto al hotel, al hostel en las tardes. Estudias Entonces, junto. Ajá. No lo está haciendo ahora. Más bien, estudias, lo haces. Do you study? Study. Do you study together in the hostel in these evenings? In the evenings? Bueno, yes. mm -hmm. uh, en esa me generó duda. O sea, le puse, that are your course book. That is your course book. Okay, question. Verbi primero. Are. Okay. No, the course What book. Is so, yeah, this. That. Okay. Is that? Uh -huh. Is that your course book? Yes. Is that your, uh -huh. Yes, I do. Yes, bueno, I doing my homework. Mm -hmm. I'm doing. 
And I'm yeah. doing. I'm, I'm doing. doing. Mm -hmm. La que sigue sería, are your teacher giving you homework every day? Ok, ¿lo está haciendo ahora, maestro? No. no. Sería, do, no, does your teacher give you homework every day? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yep, okay. E almost every day, what are you doing? What? I write to my parents. I writing. I am writing to them every day, every week. Okay, al revés. Al revés. I'm writing to my parents. I write them, them every yeah. week. I am writing, lo estoy haciendo. Estoy escribiendo a mis compañeros. Se está haciendo su tarea, pero okay. lo está escribiendo también a sus padres. Dice, I write them, porque tenemos every week. Lo hace a menudo. Uh, I write to them every week. I write to them every week. Pero igual sería sin I, ¿no? Sería I write directo, ¿no? Sorry. Sí, o sea, la primera sí es I'm writing to my parents. Ajá. Y la otra sería I write. Ajá, I write to them every mm -hmm. week. Por ejemplo. Sí, ya, ya, ya. Ya, person continues like a future. Ya le hicimos. Okay, complete the conversation using the information in the diary. Use verbs in present continuous and add any other words you need. For example, notice is the schedule. Uh, Monday, 8 p.m., Cinema Lease. Wednesday, Greek Restaurant. Thursday, Medium Station at 7.30. And Saturday, James for Weekend. And we have... Uh, huh. These sentences. Okay. This is a little longer too. <clears throat> okay. See, we can see that. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to I'm going to take a, a screenshot to the to the schedule, and I'm going to show the complete. Screen. Give me a second. I am on it to the instructions. Okay. I'm going to share all the screen. Okay. Can you see the screen now? Yeah. Okay. So. <clears throat> We have here the activity and now it's it's too when I get it like this and we move this. Okay, can you see the timetable, the schedule, and the activity? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So we need to complete the conversation using information in the diary. Use the verbs in present continuous and at any other words you need. For example, what are you doing on Monday night? I'm going to the cinema. When we have Monday, cinema. Ok. Nada más ahí, eh, la, la, nada más para saber si estoy bien. Who are you going with? 
who are you going with? Ajá, con quién? Con quién? Oh, con, con quién? Yeah, okay, teacher.
Please do the challenge. Hello. Ok, vale. Entonces, este, vamos a ver cuál es la respuesta de la que sigue, por favor. Ajá, who are going with... Bueno, esa ya. Luego ya le puse, I'm going with este, Liz. O with Liz. Ahí es who are going, ajá. Who are you going with? I'm going with Liz. I'm going. Uh -huh. Y Ana que sigue le puse, what time are you meeting her? Y respondió at 8, 8 p.m. o'clock. The next, and what about Wednesday? Uh, are you going out? Yes, I am. No, sorry. Yes. Bueno, lo puse yes, I, I am. I going to great restaurant. Are you staying at home on Tuesday? Yes, I am. On Tuesday, no worry, I say, I'm meeting with Jane. I am meeting, meeting, sorry. James. What time is he arrived? Are you in, sorry? Uh, at six thirty. Is he staying for this week? Yes, I am studying. James for week. Yes, yes, yes. Ok, a ver, entonces, ¿Who are you going with? Ok, I'm going, 
Oh, olvidé escribir aquí con quién. I'm going. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Y luego, what time are you meet, meeting her? Está bien. Mm -hmm. uh, at eight o'clock. Luego. Pero es que estoy atendiendo otra llamada. ¿Te parece que lo vaya revisando y tomando las correcciones? Ya, teacher, ya, teacher. Ya, ya terminamos la clase. Entonces, no hay ningún ya, problema. Ya, ya mañana este, continuamos a las nueve, teacher, ¿podría? Yes, a las nueve, ok. okay thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Perdón, es que estaba eh, <ríe> atendiendo un, una...